What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Dad Does Videos. As you can see here, we are about to place a couple of rat and mouse killer disposable stations from Tomcat uh, in our garage. I haven't seen any mice, but um, the neighbors have reported some uh, some extra business, so I figured I'd get these as a, as a preventive uh, measure. You can see they are child and uh, pet resistant or maybe dog resistant and these are disposable which is great you just set them where you want them and I'll show this in a second you can see the bait inside when that's gone you just toss the thing now let me be clear here these are not traps so what happens is the mouse or the rat goes in to these stations eats the bait goes off dies somewhere else so if you're not comfortable with that Certainly don't use this, but these are not traps. The uh, the animal, the, the the rat or the mouse doesn't get trapped in here and you have to dispose of it. So depending upon who you are, maybe you're comfortable with that, maybe you are not. Let me uh, open one of these, show you what these look like. All right, so here's the view. As you can see here, there's the bait right there. So the mouse or the rat goes in this little hole and then walks around, eats the bait, and then leaves and then perishes elsewhere. So what's nice about these is, I mean, it's I don't even know how to get this cover off. So um, if you're worried about children or pets, it's really hard to to get into. I have no idea how you would block how you would how you would get into this. And you can see the bait right here. So you can see if it's getting eaten you can see if you need to replace over time also what you can do you can set these up so they sit on the ground like that or you can set them up like that as well it really doesn't matter i'm just going to put these two in my garage at different corners uh, again as a preventive measure but these could be used indoor these could be used outdoor um, on the box you can see the suggestions of, of where you might want to use these basically anywhere you want. You do want to use them not more than 50 feet from your house. So you shouldn't be putting these, you know, way out in your yard somewhere. Um, there's, there's no reason for that. Uh, but when you're done with them, you just pick them up and you toss them. So you don't need to get your hands on the bait, which is poisonous. Uh, you don't have to worry about that. You just throw them in the garbage. And if you need another one, you just go back to Home Depot or Lowe's or wherever you may have purchased this and get a new one. So I'm gonna go set these up in my garage, show you what they look like. All right, so this is the back left corner of my garage. I'm just gonna go ahead and set one up back here. Just so we'll put it in place like that. Then I set up the other one in the front left-hand corner of my garage, right by the opening. Uh, so I figured these could be diagonally across from each other. They are more than the uh, the 15 or 30 feet away, which is what is recommended by Tomcat uh, to keep them at intervals 15 to 30 feet away. So I'm good there. So um, we'll see what happens with these. I'll probably come back with another follow-up video to give you an update on what has happened. Thanks for watching, everybody.